Welcome to the International Masonry Institute's 2009 Golden Trial Awards. These prestigious awards are given in recognition of outstanding achievements in masonry design and construction. The 2009 Best in Category Commercial Golden Trial Award goes to Consol Energy Headquarters, Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania. Project Team, Design Stream LLC. Cost Company, Continental Business Systems. Consol Energy Incorporated, Horizon Properties Group LLC, and BAC Local 9, Pennsylvania. The Consol Energy Headquarters, with gestures towards elements of the earth and energy, incorporates architecture as a reflection of the mining industry. Our goals with the building were to have a truly unique building, something that stood out, something that was different. And uh, we're quite frankly, we, we believe that we were able to do that, to incorporating the masonry and the glass and aluminum to have a, a really unique and, and quite a, a stunning structure. If you look at the masonry and, and it's, it's the way in which it's constructed, they did it to mimic as best they were able to. Uh, the seam, they can call it, in their coal. When they would mine coal, they find a coal seam. And so the elevation variations on the masonry, the granite specifically, uh, gives that appearance of a coal seam. We'd like to acknowledge the, the rest of the team that will put this together. First and foremost would be Consol Energy. Um, without them, we wouldn't have this building. This building wouldn't be standing in the air. But moreover, uh, the design team, which is uh, Kevin Turkle and his uh, folks at Design Stream Architects, did a fabulous job. I think it speaks for itself. Cost uh, Masonry, who did the work, uh, under the uh, direction of Continental Building Systems, or people who know them well as CBS, all of them did a terrific job and constructed a, a building for us, Horizon, that uh, we're quite proud to, to have in our portfolio, but also proud to allow others to, to take a look at the building and, and, and be in awe of its, its, uh, the beauty of the building, the blend of all the materials. Masonry uh, is probably one of the more prevalent, but all of those materials brought together, it's a terrific project. The 2009 Best in Category Retail Golden Trial Award goes to Ors Jewelers, Sewickley, Pennsylvania. Project Team, Devlin Architecture, MI Friday Incorporated, Forbes Trail Development Company, LLC, Ors Jewelers, and BAC Local 9, Pennsylvania. Ors Jewelers lies in the heart of the Sewickley Village. This classic masonry structure complements the surrounding area with its combination of detailed brickwork, limestone base panels, arched openings, and unique limestone gutters. The owners were looking for a very sophisticated building, you know, something beautiful, had to become some sort of a landmark there in the, in the city, in the neighborhood of Swickley. Um, it's a jewelry store again, so the most important thing was do a building that uh, had to create, especially when you know we were going at the windows there, where the jewel had to be exposed, some sort of a shrine, you know, for for the jewel themselves. You know, I think we did the job pretty good, working both with bricks and creating some sort of a limestone surround with a splay to emphasize as much as possible the, the beauty and the quality of the jewels. You know, think about it. Probably in those windows that are exposed, one, two jewels, and you know, everything we have to be focused on that quality actually and beauty of the building was the most important thing. Um, we have to understand that the building uh, is located in you know, a very fine neighborhood and with you know, usually buildings that are already present there downtown in you know, the city of Zwickley are, you know, have very good you know, high quality in the architectural point of view so you have to fit the historical district there. So the quality of architecture, the quality of the detail and the quality of the design was definitely the most important thing in this building. The 2009 Best in Category Multi-Residential Golden Trial Award goes to Marbella at Chapel Harbor, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Project Team, Indovina Associates Architects, MI Friday Incorporated, Zambrano Corporation, 
Marbella Condominium Association, and BAC Local 9, Pennsylvania. Located along the Allegheny River, Marbella is a truly upscale multi-dwelling complex. The extensive use of various cast stone profiles and sizes, along with the detail of the brickwork, delivers an impressive statement. This project was uh, a, a great design challenge for us. It's, uh, it's uh, placed very tightly on the site. It's a wonderful site overlooking the river next to an inlet, uh, and the building is basically shoehorned onto a very narrow peninsula. Uh, the, uh, that dictated uh, the, the massing of the building, which is a very long, thin building. Uh, we broke up the mass uh, into many, many sections in order to break down the mass and really give it a residential scale. Uh, the, the masonry that was uh, uh, erected on the building, I think, helped in really make this, making this, which is a very large residential building, uh, into uh, basically a series of smaller buildings. Uh, I think that helps in the, uh, the perception that, that potential buyers have and uh, also as a piece of architecture along the river I think uh, it gives a, a very pleasant appearance. The 2009 Best in Category Municipal Institutional Golden Trial Award goes to National Cemetery of the Alleghenies, Bridgeville, Pennsylvania. Project Team, MTR Landscape Architects, Rothschild Doino Collaborative, Harris Masonry Incorporated, Birchick Construction Company Incorporated, U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs National Cemetery Administration, and BAC Local 9, Pennsylvania. This cemetery was built to honor America's veterans. From monument signs to stone vaults, these commemorative projects were made of sandstone and precast. Visitor shelters were also erected for friends and family to pay their respects to loved ones lost. Craftsmanship uh, and the, having union contractors on the project was uh, paramount to Burchett, primarily because uh, you have a continuity of work and a quality of work that is maintained throughout the site. It didn't matter uh, what craftsmen were there from Harris or Burchick, we always knew and understood that we would get the same productivity and the same quality of work on a daily basis by those trades. Quality and an endurance, you know, a sense of permanence, was really an overriding factor. And um, that meant that to fit the image of uh, the project, which was to be peaceful and dignified and reflect the history of the site, which is uh, Rolling Hills Dairy Farm. Um, the, the sandstone really was essential uh, being, you know, a uh, uh, Western Pennsylvania uh, source uh, to, to fit in with that uh, agricultural image. Well, the craftsmanship of the masonry on this project was exemplary, in my opinion. Uh, in particular, some of the monolithic slabs and the committal shelters really convey that sense of awe, that sense of, of just overwhelming uh, sacrifice that these veterans made for our country. And to have these large monolithic structures with, that are crafted very well and, and installed, they were very difficult to install. I did watch the, the masons install them, and it took such time and effort with their detail of construction it was really fitting for a national shrine to have that type of craftsmanship, dedication, and making sure they get it exactly right as part of our project, because really the veterans deserve nothing less. The 2009 Best in Category, Educational Higher Learning Golden Trial Award goes to Seton Hill University Performing Arts Center, Greensburg, Pennsylvania. Project Team, McLaughlin, Cornelius and Filoni Incorporated, Franco, Massaro Corporation, Seton Hill University, and BAC Local 9, Pennsylvania. This performing arts center, located in the cultural district of downtown Greensburg, will house complete performance, support, and academic space for the programs of music and theater. From the beginning, when we worked on this project, we had a team and it was a magnificent one. We had our architect, McLaughlin, Cornelius, and Filoni, 
We had our general contractor, Macero Corporation, and we had our masons, Franco Corporation. Um, we approached this as a project in which we all wanted to come away with a great deal of pride. I think we achieved that initial objective of the operating word in the city of Greensburg on Seton Hill University campus, and I think among our architects, our uh, masons, and our general contractor is pride. We uh, selected masonry for um, a few good reasons. Um, first of all, it's a heavy material, so we needed the mass for performing arts building to uh, stop sound, uh, acoustically isolate different performance spaces from rehearsal spaces, from the shop, uh, from mechanical spaces. So um, we needed that material density um, to give us that property. And also, as a, um, we have very large volume spaces. So we needed very high walls, reinforced masonry gave us load-bearing walls um, in a way to kind of create these larger boxes to, to put these larger performing arts spaces into. So from the very beginning, masonry was a choice of material for us. The 2009 Best in Category, Educational K-12. Golden Trowel Award goes to St. Killian Parish Center, Cranberry Township, Pennsylvania. Project Team, L. Robert Kimball & Associates, M.I. Friday Incorporated, St. Killian Parish, and BAC Local 9, Pennsylvania. The long lines of the building footprint were a necessity due to the nature of this building site. The use of 12-inch long Norman brick complemented the linear characteristics of this unique design. The goals for the building was to provide a home, a new home for the St. Killian uh, parishioners. We started in Mars, Pennsylvania and purchased 33 acres of property um, near 220, Route 228 and it was to provide an educational space for the uh, children of the parish, both the elementary school students as well as the um, religious education classes. We take, um, educate about 1,500 kids total about 500 in the school and another 1,000 that uh, attend religious ed classes. We use the building also for worship and the offices for the administrative staff that um, take care of the day-to-day -day operations of the parish. We chose masonry for its sustainability. Um, uh, it's a product that's going to last a long time and a facility like this gets a lot of abuse. Uh, so we want it to last in uh, minimal maintenance on, on brick. Um, it also fit well within the community um, and met our needs in terms of design and aesthetics. We hope the, uh, the community gets a lot of use out of the building. It's going to last a long time. We've got good quality materials um, so kids can have at it. Um, we also hope that uh, it's going to be flexible for the owner um, and as, as things change and they're going to be able to make, make those changes inside and and the brick's going to look good on the outside for a long time. The 2009 Best in Category Restoration Golden Trial Award goes to Mellon Hall at Chatham University, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Project Team, Rothschild Doino Collaborative, Harris Masonry Incorporated, Mazitis Construction Company, Chatham University, and BAC Local 9, Pennsylvania. This project entailed excavation and the adaptive reuse of a former below-grade indoor swimming pool to become the Mellon Boardroom. The masonry work included replacing limestone railings at the edge of the 90-year-old green roof, the construction of a new stone-bearing archway, and the extensive restoration of the arched Gustavino tile ceiling. The masonry on this project was particularly fascinating. There were four important components to the masonry on this project. The railing around the top of the plaza, which was uh, the edge of a 90-year-old green roof that had been in place that needed to be completely replaced. It had deteriorated so much. Second component was the creation of a new stone-bearing arch to create a new entrance because we had dug away the ground and needed to create an accessible entrance. And we were going through a very thick subgrade masonry wall that was then on grade and we actually did a new bearing arch cut out of limestone. The third component was when we unburied the building we revealed what had been buried uh, sandstone walls 
that needed to be uh, refinished and created as then visible exterior walls. And then the fourth component was the interior Guastavino tile ceiling that had significantly deteriorated over the years. I think primary, our primary uh, concern on this space was historic preservation. Um, it, it is a historic site, as I, as I said, but also important to us were, um, it, it is just, uh, sustainability. And, and sustainability is, is a big deal at Chatham right now. We uh, have started many new sustainable programs. We're, the, um, we're actually the alma mater of Rachel Carson, who is a, uh, is a major figure in, in the environmental movement. And, uh, and so sustainability is, is a big deal to us. So the fact that we could reuse all this material was, was very good for us. And in addition, we, we ended up putting windows in uh, uh, that were, were actually kind of a, uh, an artistic element to the space, but also made out of uh, sustainably grown material. So, uh, so I think this space is extremely uh, sustainably uh, uh, constructed. The 2009 Best in Category Ceramic Tile Golden Trial Award goes to Private Residence Pool and Steam Shower, Butler, Pennsylvania. Project Team, Foremost Group Incorporated Architects, Miller Tile Company, Bertner Building Incorporated, Aqua Pool Incorporated, and BAC Local 9, Pennsylvania. This contemporary design in a country setting is fitting for this most modern manufactured porcelain and glass tile. The owner's selections have a great flow throughout the project from the bottom of the pool to the mural in the steam room. Coordination was a key uh, part of this project. Everything was very smooth uh, flowing. All the team members knew exactly what they had to do at each and every given time that they were asked to do so. And it was a cooperation between uh, uh, Bertner Construction, Aqua Pool, uh, Neil Christensen, the owner, uh, the architect, and then ultimately uh, Jeff Miller from Miller Town. The challenges in this project were to put a swimming pool in a wooded area within an addition without cutting down trees. It made it hard to bring all your equipment in and out uh, to do the work that you needed to do and, and basically trying to do it in a timely manner since we're working in a swimming pool within the building everything had to be done in steps uh, so we had to keep every, all the subcontractors on a tight schedule so we didn't have any downtime within the project. The 2009 Best in Category Interior Golden Trial Award goes to Penn State Shenango. Sharon Hall Auditorium Renovations, Shenango, Pennsylvania. Project Team, WTW Architects, YTT Incorporated, Jack Gibson Construction Company, Penn State Shenango, and BAC Local 9, Pennsylvania. The architectural and finish upgrades in the lobby of this multi-phase project have created an accessible and inviting front door for the Sharon Hall Auditorium at Penn State Shenango. The usage of the auditorium for both campus and public events and performances has increased dramatically since its reopening. The amazing on this project was included in the restrooms and in the terrazzo at the new entry lobby. Uh, in this case, the uh, terrazzo went down much quicker than uh, other finishes would have gone down and it resulted in a much more durable uh, finish that will uh, benefit the owner over time. Uh, in Penn State's case, their intent was to create a space that was durable, uh, was low maintenance, and uh, just the finishes had this high-end quality once uh, both students and public walked into the space. Uh, so that's what I believe we attempted to uh, do in the design and I believe that we uh, succeeded with. The project was on budget from the standpoint of the terrazzo installation and the ceramic tile installation and uh, Jack Gibson Construction was very helpful in being able to coordinate uh, installation meetings prior to the actual work. So in the instance of the terrazzo tile, because we were putting the 
terrazzo over top of an existing slab and a new slab, we had some concerns with movement over the course of time that could cause cracking. And uh, Youngstown Tile was very helpful in being able to come up with some uh, solutions that would help mitigate any uh, chances of cracking in the future, uh, given the two different substrates. So they were very helpful and we, were, we had a very uh, collaborative uh, process during construction. The 2009 Best in Category Landscape Golden Trial Award goes to Geneva College Pedestrian Mall, Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania. Project Team, Performa Higher Ed, Pannoni Associates Incorporated, Harris Masonry Incorporated, Gendoco Construction Corporation, Aramark Technical Services, Geneva College, and BAC Local 9, Pennsylvania. In renovating the pedestrian mall area, Geneva College wanted to have a grand entranceway. To do that, the school chose large masonry piers consisting of ashlar sandstone with limestone trim to support arch signage welcoming everyone to the college. The initial uh, design uh, really lent itself well uh, to the final project. Um, the architects really wanted to put together a, a focal point or an entrance into the college. Uh, this entire project with the pedestrian mall was uh, to take a small college that was just on a street in, within Beaver Falls and really developing it into a campus. Uh, this main gateway arch that has the masonry on both sides really is the focal point as entrance into the college uh, and it really gave the college uh, a fantastic monument. The relationship that Gendico Construction had with Harris Masonry on the project was a very tight uh, connection. Uh, we've done work with Harris Masonry in the past, but this project uh, needed a, a special touch and Harris provided that. Coordination was very key with this project. Uh, it was a tight schedule. Um, this particular phase that included the uh, gateway entrance, uh, we needed to conclude that in, uh, prior to graduation. And Harris Masonry had uh, a small timeline to do that, and they were able to complete it on time. The 2009 Best in Category Residential Golden Trowel Award and the 2009 Grand Award goes to Tomasello Residence, Sewickley, Pennsylvania. Project Team, Bloomfield & Associates Architects, MI Friday Incorporated, James L. Dunlap Construction, LLC, Jan and Anthony Tomasello, and BAC Local 9, Pennsylvania. The Tomasello Residence is located in elegant Sewickley Heights. The masonry work on the project illustrates the distinct quality and sophistication that is found throughout this area. The use of Norman brick and sandstone veneer, along with a slate tile roof, makes for a stunning visual. The masonry on this project was, was wonderful in many ways. First of all, masonry is a terrific environmentally appropriate material. It lasts a long time. It also has wonderful thermal mass, and in this particular project, we were very concerned about uh, having a house that would not change in temperature radically along with the seasons. We wanted to have something very constant, so it has very thick walls and super insulation. It's a terrific product for that. Our masons are very skilled. Uh, they go through the best training programs. We attach a lot of importance to you know, training, and uh, we, we demand the best from our people, and they respond. To win a Golden Trial Award is a, it's an amazing thing. It's a, it's, it's a real achievement when I uh, consider the, the competition that we are up against on a daily basis, and uh, uh, just thrilled as I could be. Being part of this project was, was a real honor um, from all the fellows that worked under me, uh, the different trades. I can see that everybody, everybody was excited to be part of this project because so many of the trades were challenged. Um, and unlike a lot of projects, uh, you don't have that opportunity to do 
a lot of special things. And on this job, just about everything that was done uh, was special. Um, so that really uh, invigorated everybody. Um, it, it was a special project. And I think when, when, when all the trades can pull together uh, and, and it's, it's teamwork, whether, whether it's the architect, or the masons, or the carpenters, and, and, and can come up with a final project like uh, uh, like what this has turned out is, is great. Yeah, and, so and, and for the customers to end up yeah. satisfied, and that, that's, that's a big success. As masonry reflects uh, on Swickley Heights, I think if you look around Swickley Heights, you will see that it's dominated by masonry. The stone walls along the roads, a lot of the stone entrances to the house, a lot of the stone and brick and masonry construction in the houses themselves. So it's a material that enjoys a history here in Swickley Heights. And when we had to approach the Historic Architectural Review Board for approval to build the project, it played a key role in their approving it. And we really wanted um, a house that reflected the Swickley area as well as the neighborhood that we were living in and we're happy that we, it turned out to be that way.